Hi, I'm Richard, G3CWI with Sotabeams, and today we're going to be looking at three types of bikes that you might use when you go portable operating, and looking at which one's the best, and the results might surprise you. In this video we'll be looking at three different bikes and their suitability for getting you to your portable destination. The first type is a road bike, the second type of bike that we'll be looking at is a hardtail mountain bike, and third we'll be looking at the less common gravel bike. The road bike is really the Ferrari of the bicycling world. Uh, it's often called a racing bike and for good reason. It's ideal for travelling fast on the road. It has narrow tyres with very high pressures, giving an unforgiving type of ride. Quite an aggressive riding position and often there are no mounts for mud guards or bike racks. This is the sort of surface on which a road bike is really at home. You'll easily reach speeds of 25 to 30 kilometres per hour, that's 15 to 20 miles per hour. Bear in mind that on a road bike there's likely to be no fixings for a rack, so you're probably going to have to carry your gear on a rucksack. Of course you can go off-road on a road bike, and on a well-formed track that's not too muddy like this you'll find the cycling reasonably easy, although perhaps not that comfortable. However, terrain such as this will be completely unsuitable on a road bike, and you'll probably have to get off and push it or even carry it. One of the big advantages, however, of a road bike is that they're generally extremely light, which does make carrying them quite easy. The hardtail mountain bike is probably one of the most popular choices for portable radio operators. The hardtail means that it has suspension at the front, but not at the rear. That makes the, the bike somewhat lighter and easier to carry if you go into terrain where you can't actually ride it. It has really wide tyres with knobbly tra treads which are great on mud and rocks. It uses normally disc brakes, will often have fixings for racks if not for mud guards. This sort of bike is a lot of fun to ride if you have the skills to ride it and get the best out of it. Automatic saddle height adjustment is something that more experienced riders will enjoy. This is the sort of terrain that a mountain bike excels at. In fact, a mountain bike will get you to pretty much any location, uh, depending on your skill levels and fitness, of course. The third type of bike that we're going to look at is a gravel bike. And a gravel bike combines many of the best features of mountain bikes and road bikes. My personal favourite for portable operating is a gravel bike, and a gravel bike combines many of the best features of mountain bikes and road bikes. It has wide tyres and low gear ranges, and also drop handlebars so you can get into a fast position on the road. This type of bike is very capable. A gravel bike is just as at home on the road as it is off the road. Of course it'll be a few kilometres per hour slower than a road bike, but nevertheless significantly faster on the road than a mountain bike. Relatively smooth gravel roads or fire roads are the perfect terrain for a gravel or adventure bike. They can handle mud as well because of their slightly wider tyres, uh, making them a very versatile tool for getting to your activation location. A wide range of gears allows them to climb easily more easily than a road bike would be able to do generally. Gravel bikes are really comfortable to ride, making them a great choice if you've got several miles on the road to cycle and then some off-road cycling to get to your portable location. So which of these bikes is best for the portable operator? Well, the road bike will certainly get you there fastest, but only if you're on the road. The gravel bike is a great combination of an off-road and an on-road bike but when the going's really tough, the gravel bike won't get you there. So the only bike of the three that will do absolutely everything is the hardtail mountain bike. Sure, it's a heavy bike, it's slower on the road, but it will get you pretty much anywhere that you can ride a bike. I'll include some notes about the three bikes featured in this video below. And if you've got any comments or want to make some suggestions about future videos, please do so. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful and you want to keep up with the rest of my videos as I put them on, why not click the subscribe button over here. Also, take a look at the other videos here and here. Maybe you'll find something of interest.